I sat down to eat my cereal this morning, and I turned the box around, and wow, what do you think I found? A cut and paste build your own mini kitchen. All right, I opened my Trix mini box all the way up just so I could get everything cut out properly. And it's a good thing I did because some of it comes out of the box into this area. And there's like a rabbit right there, dude. Oh, so at this point, I would put this someplace where there's not like a bunch of light and shadows on it and take a picture of this. And then you can downsize this and print this out for your own miniatures. Collect all three sets. So I went back to the grocery store and went through all the boxes and they were all identical to this one. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish this set. It says they're enlarged to show detail. They look much smaller than the actual ones. I used my X-Acto knife to cut everything out. I noticed if I used my scissors, it kind of crushed areas and caused little wrinkles. I just thought about scoring this so it would bend easier but then you would see the cardboard. So if I can just bend it, hopefully, you know, I'm just putting way too much thought into this <laughs> tricks miniature kitchen, but uh, I, I just want to do the best. I want to upgrade it a little bit. See, I knew that was, was gonna happen. However, we're gonna do our best and we're gonna take it, fold it like that, take this ruler and It was at this point where I realized I should have altered the plan and cut out tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and make some tabs and place them on here. It's best to glue cardboard to cardboard. This slicker material doesn't adhere as well. Okay. Another thing you can do to make glue adhere better is wet down the area slightly. Just very little dampen it. Go. And that actually is uh, works really well with wood projects too. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a little support piece across here. The glue I'm using is non-toxic and sometimes I put it on my hand to make it a little bit more easy when I'm working with many parts. When folding an object, I always start with the middle fold. And I shouldn't say always because, you know, I'm sometimes I'm not thinking properly. <laughs> okay, squeeze it. And then, whoop, got that. Okay, now we'll go to the next one. Okay, now I have to make a decision. Uh, do I just want to do this simple and make it how, is it how it is, or do I want to fancy it up a little? You know, I could cut the windows out, put a window in, and then I could take this scenery and remake it and push it back so it has a three-dimensional look as you're looking outside into the scenery. I can uh, go ahead and cut these drawers so that doors so that they open and actually add something very similar, maybe a bead for the handles. You know, so I can really just keep going and making this more and more realistic. Uh, so I'm just going to maybe cut a couple of these a little bit, maybe so they open and go from there. Let's just see what happens. Uh, this is this is going to be the hardest fold. I just put and cut open one of the doors here like that. Okay, I'm a little worried about this. I was afraid if I cut any more of these drawers before I folded that they would rip, so... Okay. I'm going to try this different. Nope, that ain't going to work either. Mm. 
You silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Oh, see? It was a good thing I didn't cut those out because that is definitely going to be an issue right there. Okay, not a problem. Now that I see where my crack is or my line is going to be, I'm going to do this and just end up bending it right there. I feel like I went into the danger zone. Danger zone. Okay, I'm going to just bend this. <laughs> Like I said, I could have scored it, but then you would just see that cardboard. And instead I have a little, you know, cracked light white lines. And yeah, I, I'm just being too. <laughs> this is for kids. Yep, I should not have cut those. So that was my mistake there. Well, throw the whole project out. Gotta get a new box. <laughs> You know, there's not a like, sink in this. Let's take a look. Let's take a look because that's definitely something that like you need is a sink. All right, let me fold some more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. I really wanna put a sink in it, but I'm going to leave it just as is. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing these pieces together. I added those tabs to this section. I've glued them in, and now I'm gonna clip them in till they dry. You can use sandpaper to rough up the glossy paper for better adherence. Side note. There may be a sink with the other, one of the other two collectors in the series. We want a little bit equalness on both sides. And that looks good. Okay. Let me pin the bottoms into place. If you have any glue, just get a, a damp paper towel and wipe it off. Okay, I can see that this is not exact. And I'm just pushing that tab in the inside and making sure my counters are as straight as can be. All right. Maybe I'll just apply some glue. I would have photocopied or made some spoons just like this and apply them so they stick out a more of like a three-dimensional look I'd probably put a sink in over here but as a, uh, a designer for houses I don't think a sink actually fits in well next to the stove <laughs> I'd put a real working clock in here I'd go to the thrift store and look through the clock section buy one for I don't know how much they cost anymore, but it's probably somewhere five to ten dollars. And you can buy brand new ones too, but usually you can buy them a whole clock cheaper than you can the brand new pieces. And I would assemble it to that. Another thing I could do is photocopy everything and cut out the window frame and re glue it so it actually adds a sense of layer. I could do the same thing with the cabinets, like I op I cut those cabinets so that they would open. I can glue some beads onto them. Uh, the stove, I can, I you know, I can take this so much farther. I could actually take a bunch of these, 
epoxy them onto a surface and crush them down and make them almost look just like that with resin. So I think there's a lot of great things you can do with this. Uh, and this is just a great template. I really hope I can collect all three so I can make a diorama out of this. But I need that one and I need that one. And I hope this isn't one of those regional things where I'd have to like cross the border and go to some other grocery store and find it. I just kind of hope that they're there. So I've already checked two grocery stores and that's probably about it. <laughs> I appreciate you joining me and watching me make the mini kitchen from my mini tricks cereal box. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great one. Bye.